The truth of the matter is, just this week we're seeing record numbers of illegal crossings at the border. In the last year, almost two million arrests, another record at the border. Why has the problem gotten so much worse just in this last year or two? Well, I would say I would say two things. First, let's not surrender uh, to the fact that we have a broken immigration system. Congress needs to act. Let's let's fix it. It's been a problem that everyone agrees on uh, for more than two decades. Number one. Yeah, here we go. The first part of the Biden blame game on immigration is to blame Congress. Number two, the challenge that we are seeing at our southern border is not unique to our southern border. It is a surge in migration, a surge in the displacement of people all across our region in Latin America, and not only in our hemisphere, around the world. We are seeing more displaced people now than we have at any time since World War II. But why is it this last year? Why record crossing? Some have suggested it's because the impression that is out there is that it will be easier under President Biden to cross into the country, that the consequences are less severe than they would have been under President Trump or even under President Obama. Why is the problem so intense right now? Well, uh, a few factors. Uh, poverty, violence, corruption, authoritarian regimes. Right, because we've never seen poverty, violence, corruption, or authoritarian regimes over the years before Biden came into office. The COVID-19 pandemic, uh, extreme weather events, the causes of displacement are many, number one. And number two, we are also combating smuggling organizations that spread false information, that spread lies to intending migrants, th uh, deceiving them into thinking that the border is open. And those who come seeking asylum, we should immediately have the capacity to absorb them, keep them safe until they can be heard. A 15 second, if you could, if you wish to answer, should someone who is here without documents, and that is his only offense, should that person be deported. That person should not be the focus of deportation. We should fundamentally change the way we deal with them. Deceiving them into thinking that the border is open, and it is not, and it has not been. Any other questions? How do you live with yourself? It's not easy. <laughs>